Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 10 of A Sign of Affection. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. But they're pretty! So, no, I mean, like, what is he going to do? Is it going to be a green flag and give her a phone and be like, hey, he's calling you? Or is he going to hang the phone up and then give it to her? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything's okay. Oh. oh. Right, a little bit, because I feel like he's the type of person who never apologizes. No, oh my god. <laughs> oh mm -hmm. 
no. <laughs> How could she not? I mean, damn, look at that. Look at you. Yeah, of course. I figured. Mm-hmm. You gotta let her know, like, gently. Really, really gently. No. I don't know, like, boundaries. Boundaries.
maybe that could just be your preference with women as well, possibly. I don't know. I mean, now he's just being honest, so you gotta answer him. But you are in love with her. Stop fucking denying it. Just take it. It's like a peace offering. Yeah, you need a YouTube. He doesn't think she's an easy target.
Do you, you want to take him home? Because Yugi loves him. Right? And plus, they work well together. In a way, their destinies are entwined, so it's fate. I mean, okay, so can we kind of call them friends in a weirdest way? Your true feelings are coming out. Plus, you drunk, so... I'm not done yet! Well, yeah, in a weird way. But they're kind of friends now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't say friends. More so, like, once again, acquaintances and such. But it's something rather than nothing. They're not, you know, always, like, you know how, like, when some guys like to size each other up and shit like that. I think that for just, for in my opinion, that, that is shits and giggles in my opinion. Because, like, every single time I see guys do that ish. It's freaking hilarious because it's like, oh, she picked you when she clearly has me. And I'm just over here like, will y'all stop? <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, but it, it's cute. It is very cute. I love the fact that she got to stay the night over his house. Yes, nothing really happened. No, you know, no sexual-ish. But that is okay. I love the fact that he is like, he literally, he's like, I want to treat you right. You, you're tense when we cuddle. So obviously I'm not going to try anything. He's going to do it when she's comfortable. Like 
truly comfortable around him and, and that is okay and i'm okay with that but like him like holding her hand and then he kisses her forehead. I also do love the fact that we got like a little more on Oshkun because like seriously it was obvious that yes from the get-go bruh yeah you had some major major crush on your friend and I get it you obviously you want her you don't want anyone else to have her and there's nothing really wrong with that but at the same time when it's like someone else is overstepping he, he's definitely as we've said the last couple of weeks overstepping very much overstepping and it's just like dude oh my god please like no no you're ish it, it's very much like once again how, how i currently feel with emma at the same time too like ish i i don't hate them either anymore i just feel bad for them personally because it's like if they only were there before the opposite person had came in and swooped someone under their wing, then yes, they possibly would have had them for themselves. But Itsu, to me, as we've seen, Itsu has never really had those feelings towards Emma. So for the longest time, I think even if she was like, well, we're all in our 20s as of right now in this series, let's say she gets to her early 30s and such, no matter how hard she tries, he's not going to reciprocate. And I feel like it, the only way she's truly going to stop is one of two things. The girl, he finds out, uh, she finds out about Yuki and being like, oh shit, okay, girlfriend. Or Itsu just straight up tells her, I've never had feelings like that towards you for the longest time. Stop. But he needs to do it in a way that it, it needs to be let down gently. Because thinking about this as a girl, uh, well, once again, I can't say girl because, I, I mean, I am a girl, duh. But as a woman and such, you you have to treat women a certain way. You can't just be an asshole or a dick. And there are some girls who are for, you know, the other team who do that to their significant others and such. You want to let someone down gently don't be an a-hole and be like oh you're too clean oh you're this oh you're that like if you want if you don't want that go take a go go date a board okay be happy with a board the board doesn't talk to you the board doesn't tell you how you're doing ask about your feelings this is that and the third this is for guys and girls i'm just saying because like seriously you just want to sift that board like dead ass I'm just saying, don't, don't say that shit. Like, and if you do say it in a nice way, do not be a dick or an asshole 24 seven. We don't like that shit. Guy, girl, indifferent. Who the fuck you are. Don't do that shit. Do not be a fucking a-hole. Be nice. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. You want to be nice? Yeah, treat them fucking nice. Okay? Okay. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 10 of the Sign of Affection. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 11. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.